this is going to be a quick video on setting up uh, Smash Ultimate tools. First what you want to do is open up Edge. Not Edge, just open up any browser I guess. Edge is annoying. Hopefully you don't have a fresh install of Windows. Once you get access to the internet, look up 7-zip. <coughs> Download and install the version that your computer. Whether you're using, if you're using 32 bit, then use this one. If you're using 64 bit, then download this one. I'm using 64 bit, so I'm going to go ahead and download the x64 version. Once that's done, you just want to run it. Yes. And then install. Once it's installed, you want to go ahead and look up Smash Ultimate Tool. Use Find Smash Ultimate Tools Rewritten, Game Anna. Click on that. Once that loads up, you want to scroll down until you see Smash Ultimate Tools Rewrite under the file section. It, sh it says 17 days here, but when this video goes up, there should be an up updated version. Just download the latest one. Hit manual download. I'm not going to download it because I don't want to wait. So I'll just copy it over from my host PC. Once you have it done downloading, you want to right click on it, it, open archive. Then you're gonna have to extract this somewhere. So first I'll extract this one to local this C. I'm gonna make a folder in C called modding. Right there I'll make a folder called tools. And then I'll drag these two in there. Once it's done extracting, the first thing you do is go to view and check file name extensions. Then next step read the readme. Make sure you read it very carefully. Ethnorizer or something, I don't know. So, just this uh, header information and the requirements that you need. Netcore 2.0, Netcore 5.0.3, and Netcore 6.0.3. All of them have been tapped. Uh, these are optional if you want to enable YouTube conversion support and Pi Music Cooper support. These are the credits, the people who helped me make this program. All of them are very amazing. <laughs> Next up. I'm going to go ahead and open up the Smash Ultimate Tools folder, open up the EXE. Go ahead and open up these links. Download this to desktop. Install the next file. And the third one. Once you download all three of these, I'm going to go ahead and install all of them. The first one would be... Find that 209. Yes. Close. Next up is 503. Install. Yes. Close. Last but not least, 603. Install. Yes. And then close. Now you can open command prompt, a typeware.net, and since we got a path, that means it's in path. Let's go ahead and type .net list runtimes, and here we have 209, 503, and 603, so these are good. Next up, let's go ahead and do the optional stuff, so for YouTube conversion support, let's go ahead to the end of the builds page, go down to see release builds, and then download the one that you want. I'll be using full 7z. Let me click on it again, see so you can get off from download. Alright, I'll save it to desktop. And then I'll go to this PC, local this C, make a folder called FFmpeg. And now let's go ahead and open up the archive. I'm going to copy the folder in there. <coughs> Once the folder is there, I'm going to go ahead, go to bin, and then copy this full path. So the path where your FFmpeg bin is. I'm gonna go to the Windows button, type edit the system, environment variables, click on that. Environment variables, go to the system variable section, and then scroll down so you see path. Double click it, click new, and paste the FFmpeg path in there. Okay, okay, okay. Go ahead and run command prompt, type where FFmpeg, and this should show up. 
or the path that you added should show up. Once that's done, you want to go ahead and close this. YouTube conversion support will be done as soon as you do that. Next up is Pi Music Blooper support. What you want to do is go ahead and download Python. So download the latest version. Uh, let's go ahead and install it. Make sure that you check at Python 3.10 to path. So, yes. And then while this is installing, let's go ahead and download Git for Windows. We'll be using 64 bit. I'll save it to desktop. And then we'll go ahead and install it. Just get. Alright. Not sure if it's invalid. Okay, not invalid. So let's go ahead and run it. Yes. Now you can just match the next on this. Let it install. Go ahead and check this one. See your path length limit while you're here. To close. Now we'll wait for Git to finish downloading. Let's go ahead and click finish. We'll run command prompt. We'll type where Python. And then if you see a path to Python, Python 310 exe, that's good. And now let's do where git. We have git here too, so that's good. Last but not least, you want to copy this command. Open up Windows command prompt. Right click, run as administrator. Yes. And then paste the command in there. Now just wait till it's uninstalling. I'll probably edit music in post or something since it's pretty quiet. Yeah. Alright, once that's done, you want to go ahead and run Pi Music Looper. <clears throat> and if you have that dash STD out option, that means you're on the latest version. Or at least the version that's required for special ultimate tools. Uh, you close this map prompt. And now you want to reopen special ultimate tools. We'll open it here to make it easier. So let's close this and then open it up to refresh its environment. Now you can just go ahead and check that you read the readme if you did actually read it. Uh, check this, I really did read it. Now you can start editing stuff in there without worrying. Let's go ahead and save this layout. Save it to desktop. Let's load the default and try to open up the custom layout. And that works. Alright. Let's go ahead and try converting some audio. So let me go ahead and... Get a file from my computer. Let's go ahead and pick this. Let's use Pi Music Cooper to test that out. Go ahead and convert. And let's see if it works. It might take a while if you're using Pi Music Looper, considering it has to read the file after it converts and everything. 
but it should work. Also, it should be faster, but since this is a virtual machine, it can take a while. Alright, once that's done, you can just click here and save it somewhere on your computer. Let's go ahead and try YouTube. Let me just look up something real quick. Uh, go here, YouTube. Oh, uh, let's go ahead and this. Copy this link. Let's use Pi Music Looper because I don't want to look for the loop samples on the song. Then let's try converting this from YouTube. Let's go ahead and click here and save it. All right, and now if we want to preview these nasty audio files, let's go ahead and download FooBar. FooBar 2000. Go to download. And let's go to this one, and now it'll download it. And then while it's downloading FooBar, let's look up something called VGM Stream. Let's go to the main page. And there we have FooBar. So first, let's install FooBar. Next, I agree. Start installation. Yes. Next. Uh, let's go ahead and run it. For sure. You could customize whatever you want. I'll just use black. Let's go ahead and click FooBar. Oh wait, my bad. Go to downloads here. And download the FooBar 2000 component. Well, once it's done, you can just click on it. Yes. And then we just click OK and we restart. Let's go ahead and go here. Show the association later. And now, if we just drag our Nasty audios in, both of them are sitting there. Alright, this one works. Let's try the other one from YouTube. And that's how you set it up. Pretty simple stuff, honestly. Uh, if you guys have any issues, if you follow this video's instructions and read, the, read, me, read me and everything, feel free to contact me on Discord or Twitter, I guess. Just make sure that you did everything properly first. Uh, that's it, I guess. Thank you for watching.